Hello everyone. Today we are going to start on the new update for the Disney Dreamlight Valley DLC. And so if you have purchased the DLC, then you will see a new quest from Merlin called the Sunken Ruins. And so that is the start of the quest that we are going to see today. Now this is going to be in multiple parts and will be released throughout the week. So be sure to keep checking back. So first we need to meet with Merlin in his library and there he is right by the library. Merlin says, come along, we have a destiny to fulfill. So we are going to start the quest. Aha, Jazzy, I've made a breakthrough in my research. We must meet in my library. Get here as quickly as you can. So since we are right there, I guess we'll just walk inside. And so we are going to come around the corner here and talk to Merlin. Hello. Hmm. I know I put it somewhere. Oh, blast it all. What was it called again? Splinter of Inspiration, Shard of Creativity, Spark of Imagination. Yes, yes, that's it. The Spark of Imagination. I've uncovered some notes about the ancient civilization that once lived in Dreamlight Valley. It seems they created this spark of imagination to give them all the ability to bend Dreamlight Valley to their whim. Its power is what holds this entire valley together. You see, it's the source of all Dreamlight, so we must find it before Jafar does. What sorts of things could this spark do? Oh, I fear if someone truly knew how to weld it, its power would be unstoppable. Why, it could be as powerful as a genie's wish. With just a snap of his fingers, Jafar could change all of Dreamlight Valley to his liking. I'm not going to let that happen. As long as we work together to stop him, it most certainly will not. So Dreamlight Valley is more than just my dream? Well, yes, yes, it is a dream. After all, you got here by falling asleep, didn't you? But remember, just because it's a dream doesn't mean it isn't real. Got it. I knew you would. How do we find the spark? My research shows that the spark was once kept in somewhere quite special, an ancient temple near Ancient's Landing. However, I'm afraid there's a bit of a problem. The door to the temple was worn away by time, and the entire temple has sunken into the water. Currently, there's no way inside. I know exactly the place you mean. The sunken door between the two waterfalls? Yes, yes, that's it. And I know precisely how we can get to the spark. By harnessing the power of your hourglass to turn back time. Tiny flickers of the spark's magic are scattered throughout the valley, eternity isle, and the realms. Here, I found this one in the course of my research. You must venture into the realms and use your hourglass to uncover more of them. Then use your hourglass around eternity isle and dreamlight valley to uncover additional flickers. The valley and the isle are big places. Where should I look? I suspect you'll find them where villagers first arrive from the realms. I'll try my best to figure out where that might be on my own. I suspect your theory will be as good as mine. Once you've finished, your hourglass should be able to channel the magic of the spark to restore the doorway of the sunken temple. So now we need to go find all of these pieces some in the valley, some on Eternity Isle, and some in the realms. So let's go ahead and start here in Dreamlight Valley. All of the villagers, when they come in, go to this main well up here. So we're going to pull out our hourglass and do some searching around here. All right, there's something here to the right. Oh, it, oh, it 
looks like I need to go down the stairs. A little more. There we go. All right. Well, that was a core. That's not at all what we're looking for. But let's see what else we can find. Maybe if I go around. Nope. I guess it was on the front side. So many things in my way. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, we have the first flicker found in the valley. So now we're just going to look around here, pull it out of the building. Oh, we accidentally walked inside, but it looks like we did go ahead and pick up that second flicker. So now we just need two more to find in this area. So let's come up here and see where we're at. Okay, we still need to go left more. Oh, left even more, okay. So it's not stuck within that area. Okay, we need to go left. There we go. Oh, the tree is in the way, but that is okay. We got another flicker. So now we just need to find one more. And I am running out of stamina, I guess. All right, so that's the last one. So it says, in the Moana, Ratatouille, or Wally realms, we need to get three of each. Or three of the flickers. So let's go to the Ratatouille. It's a little bit smaller. Um, what I do like about this quest is that you do not need to visit all three. I uh, managed to find all three of the flickers in the Ratatouille land. So you don't have to go through all three. Originally, I thought that was what was going to happen. Here, I did run out of energy. And so I'm just eating whatever is in my inventory just so that I can finish this part of the quest. So now we are pulling something out of the fridge. So now I'm just going to speed things up a bit to find the last two flickers in this realm. All right, so now we are going to head back to the valley. And so now we need to go to On Eternity Isle in a similar place. So I am going to use a map and fast travel to go to the docks. That's where we initially came in when we started. And so that seems like a pretty good place to decide to do some looking. So now once again, I am just going to speed up a little bit. The finding of these flickers, you need to find four of them here on Eternity Isle near where you start. And really they are not all that hard to find. I was able to level up Daisy while I was doing this, which is always an added plus. So now that this little side thing's over, we are back to looking for these flickers. So we have two, we just need two more. That's a third one and one more. All right, so we got the last one. So now we need to bring all of the flickers to Merlin. And so I'm just going to check the map to see where he is at. So it looks like he is coming through here. So we want to give them to him. Jazzy, you've succeeded yet again. The magic of the spark is all around us. 
Now we need to we need only to harness it. Follow me to the ancient ruins. This will require all the power of your hourglass. So now we need to follow him to the ancient ruins. I've always wondered what the sunken door was going to be about. So I'm excited that this update actually brought an explanation to this mystery. Okay, so we need to talk to Merlin. Hello. This is it, Jazzy. Do you see that door? Through there, you'll find the answers we seek. Which option should I choose? Um, let's do the last one. If only I could swim like a mermaid. Perhaps someday, Jazzy, but for now, we will just have to rely on magic. Focus the magic of your hourglass on the doorway. Ooh. Okay, we're using both of our power and... Oh, it's lifting. It's lifting. It is fully restored. I'm so excited. Okay. It worked, and the fabric of reality didn't unravel as I feared it might. Whoa, that place looks huge. It seems our ancient friends did everything in their power to keep the spark safe. Now then, the spark of imagination lies deep within the temple, and I'm sure there will be some vexing mysteries inside. These sorts of ancient ruins are always full of conundrums. We must press on through the doorway to discover what's inside. So enter the ancient ruins. This is pretty impressive. No lie. Oh. Okay. Very cool. So it looks like we have several different chambers. So now we need to talk to Merlin in the ancient ruins. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these uh, little breaks in reality and just see what we can find. Is there anything in there? No. These kind of drive me crazy. <laughs> so I don't know, you never know, they could be, you know, hiding some stuff. Maybe not, but it could be. Ooh, it looks like I need to be careful because I am running out of Step again. Let's try to pick X because it looks like there is something in that one rock. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's get rid of these and then we can go talk to Merlin real quick. How curious. Do you see this, Jazzy? I believe that's, well, it's a trap door. It wouldn't be an adventure without a trap door. <laughs> yes, it's quite a classic. I'm certain that what we seek lies beneath us. So we must find some way to open this door. I'll keep examining it for clues. Perhaps you could try investigating the other chambers on this level. I noticed some sort of ancient technological device in the north chamber. A strange pedestal in the west chamber and a display of music notes in the east chamber. You got it. I'll bring you a picture of anything I find. So let's start over here with the music notes. So this must be the... Uh, east chamber. So let's go ahead and take a picture. And so let's investigate the one across. I'm so glad that trapdoor did not open 
while I was walking across it. So this is the sun with the pedestal, I guess. Okay, so now we need the ancient computer terminal in the north chamber. All right, so now we need to return to Merlin with the pictures. First, I am going to eat a couple things here because I'm still really low on energy. All right, I think that's good enough, so let's go talk to him. How curious. It seems the other chambers hold the key to opening the trap door. These must be tests, tests of precise qualities this ancient civilization valued. The ancient console in the north chamber? It is some form of ancient technology. The ancient civilization valued technological advancements. You'll have to find somebody on Eternity Isle who can speak to this contraption, someone well-versed in such things. Eve? Yes, Eve would be perfect. She spent ages on Eternity Owls. Got it. I'll ask Eve for help. The raised platform in the other chamber? Why, it looks like some sort of podium. I suspect a statue of a pair of great heroes once stood there, but it's long crumbled away. You must find someone quite hefty to stand on it and trigger it. Someone who can strike a heroic pose. Evidently, this ancient civilization prized strength and heroism will require someone like that. Maui? The idea has merit, but I dare say Maui might be a bit too much for this platform. The ancient civilization could not have depended on succeeding generations having a demigod in their midst. Gaston, though, he would do quite nicely. Great, I'll talk to Gaston about how to trigger that one. The musical notes? Hmm, it seems the ancient civilization prized creativity and specifically music as one of the purest creative forms. You'll have to find someone with a bit of mutual know-how to unlock that one. Rapunzel? A most astute suggestion. She's a fine singer and instrumentalist. Great, I'll go talk to Rapunzel. There you have it. The ancient civilization must have prized strength and heroism, technological know-how and innovation, and creativity and music. But no one person could have embodied all those talents, so maybe what they value most of all was... Friendship and a collaboration, which means no individual can reach a spark of imagination on their own. But with the help of Gaston, Eve, and Rapunzel, I'm sure you'll get there. So this completes step one and finishes the Sunken Ruins quest. From here, we will have three separate quests that I will have in their own videos. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you would like to see more of how to complete this quest, then be sure to subscribe and wait for my new video tomorrow. Bye.